Welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I'm bringing to you three easy ways to make these LED candles that the Dollar Tree carries into something so chic you won't even know that these candles came from the Dollar Tree and people will be asking you where you got your candles from. In the past, I've done a DIY with these candles in my series, Bleak to Chic. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description box below. That DIY came out amazing. Today, I'm bringing to you three more quick and easy ways to make these LED candles from the Dollar Tree something chic using all Dollar Tree items. So let's jump into it and let me show you what I have in mind for these candles. For this first bleak to chic transformation of these LED candles, I will be using some of Jot's white school glue. You can get two for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I'm using this because I don't have any Mod Podge on hand and this is a great alternative. I'm going to cover this LED candle with the glue and I'm going to be very generous with it while I'm brushing it on, making sure not to miss any spots. Using this tissue paper that I picked up from Dollar Tree in the gift section, I'm going to gently place this on top of the candle where I just placed the glue. Once I've covered my candle with the tissue paper, I'm going to do a second coat of the school glue over the tissue paper, sealing it onto the candle. When you get to the top of the candle, you really want to make sure and go along that top edge of the candle, getting the glue right on top of it so you have a nice smooth edge on the candle where the tissue paper and the candle meet. I'm going to set this aside and let this glue and tissue paper dry. Once the glue is dry, I'll be using a safety cutter to cut off the excess tissue. It's much easier than using scissors. I found that using scissors, it came out uneven, it just wasn't as smooth, and because the tissue paper is stiff, it made it really easy to cut it off with the razor and my edges came out smooth. And that there is my first bleak to chic transformation of Dollar Tree's LED candle. Would you look at how stinking beautiful this looks just using a simple tissue paper with a print on it and adhering it onto the candle with some glue or Mod Podge if you have it on hand. For my second bleak to chic transformation of these LED candles, I will be using Dollar Tree's burlap roll. I cut a piece of the burlap a bit bigger than the candle itself in height and width, which would be around the candle. And again, using the Jots school glue, I will put a nice generous coating on this LED candle. Because I will be covering this with burlap, you really wanna make sure and get a nice good coat of that glue onto your candle because the burlap is a bit heavier than tissue paper. So it's gonna need a bit more to adhere it to this candle. And again, like I did with the tissue paper, I'm gonna wrap this candle with this burlap. The burlap is stiff, it is heavier, so it's gonna take a good amount of glue to adhere it onto this candle. And because I cut my burlap bigger than the candle itself, I will be cutting off the excess burlap and I will be placing a second coat of the school glue on this burlap as well. And like I said, because this is such a heavier material, you really need to be generous with that glue so it's sure to stay onto the candle. And I'll set this aside and let it dry and it'll take about an hour to two hours to dry. And for this one as well, once it is dry, I will be using my safety cutter to cut off the excess burlap around the top of this candle. And you can see just how clean and even my edges are on the top of this candle. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut off any excess burlap, anything that was maybe frayed that came off while I was 
putting this burlap onto the candle and just kind of evening it out and making it smooth. I am loving the way this candle looks covered in burlap. Anything covered in burlap is gorgeous. This is definitely though missing something and I think it is missing one of my twine flowers. So using Dollar Tree's twine, I will make one of my twine flowers. If you have not seen that tutorial, I will link that video in the description box below where I did a full tutorial on my twine flowers. Because I don't want my twine flower to blend in with the burlap that's on the candle, I've decided to add a bit of color to this twine flower by distressing the tips of it. And I'm distressing this with a liquid shoe polish that you can get at just about any dollar store. And would you look at how stinking pretty that is. The perfect spot for this twine flower is right on the front of this candle. And would you look at that. We took this Dollar Tree LED candle from bleak to shabby chic with just a little bit of DIYing. I love the look of this and I tell you, you go to Hobby Lobby or Joann's and you look for a candle wrapped in burlap, you're going to pay over $10 for that candle. And we did this for just a couple of dollars using Dollar Tree items. For my last bleak to chic transformation of these LED candles, my Dollar Tree just recently started carrying these metallic jewelry tattoos. These are an as seen on TV product. It comes with four sheets of tattoos. I think because Christmas is coming, I'm gonna use these silver tattoos. And I thought just to dress this candle up a bit, I'd add it to the bottom edge of this candle. Once you've got your tattoo placed using the sponge that comes with the kit, I'm gonna put it in water and I'm gonna dab around this tattoo. This tattoo is applied just like any of the kids' tattoos. And the great thing about this is it is so easy to apply and you could even use kids' tattoos on these candles. Say if you were doing it for a kid's party, it would make for a great decor piece, for a great centerpiece endless possibilities with these Dollar Tree LED candles. Once I've got the paper from the tattoo completely saturated with water, you want to add just a bit of pressure, rubbing just a bit, not too hard because you don't want it to slide. Then I'm just simply going to take and peel back the paper and the tattoo will be left on the candle. And if there's any air bubbles that need to be smoothed out on the tattoo, just dip your finger in the water and rub over those air bubbles and they'll come right out. And I think I'll place another tattoo along the top edge of this LED candle as well. And would you look how pretty this is, but it's definitely needing something in the center. And I'm thinking just a simple flower made out of these gems is going to be the perfect finishing touch. These gems have adhesive on the back of them and it is a very sticky adhesive. And so I'm putting it on these candles and they don't seem to be moving very easily. So I think that just applying them with the adhesive that comes with them is fine. If you wanna secure them a bit better and maybe use a gel adhesive, of some kind on top of this, you can, but I think that because these don't get heated up, that the adhesive that comes with these is gonna work perfectly. And there you have my third and final bleak to chic on the glam side transformation of Dollar Tree's LED candles. There are endless ways to transform these LED candles into something bleak to glam chic or from bleak to farmhouse shabby chic. I only came up with three stinking adorable ways, but there are endless possibilities when using these candles. I love the three different looks that I came up with just using items that you can get from the Dollar Tree. Now, wasn't that quick and easy? and so budget friendly. And I tell you, people are gonna ask you where you got these candles from. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and 
let's get this video to 3,000 likes because those thumbs up really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. And of course, happy crafting on a budget. And bye for now, everybody.